I'm going to do a review today of the Wiki Phoenix Dry Herb Vaporizer. Most of you know that I'm a pipe smoker and I enjoy the dark leaf on a pretty regular basis, either in a pipe form or also uh, rolled up as a cigar that I love very much. And I'm going to start doing some reviews of tobaccos and pipes and products and that type of thing and broaden my audience as well. But I got hooked up with the Phoenix Vaporizer. It's a dry herb and oil vaporizer from Wiki. Now everybody knows, who knows me, knows that every year I grow my own tobacco. This is this past summer's tobacco. Can you hear it? It's like crunchy right now. But not potato chip crunchy. It, it's not going to crumble. It's still kind of like uh, flexible. And I hang it up inside the, the Van Gogh room, all along the rafters here. And I've been doing this every year. And then I enjoy it years later after it ages. What I have here is, this is actually from, this is my homegrown golden leaf from 2010. Cut up, aging. It, it's beautiful. It smells like a spice rack. I mean, it's when you open up the spice cabinet in your kitchen, that's what it smells like. It's absolutely magnificent. So put that back in here. I keep that in the house out of the sunlight. So let's just take a look at the uh, Phoenix. Um, it's uh, uh, for wax and oil. I'm using it for tobacco. Uh, it's a premium vaporizer. It's fourth generation. Uh, the kit includes the vaporizer, mouthpiece, removable wax and oil cup, cleaning brush, wax tool, micro USB charger, screens, and silicone rings. The presentation, very Apple computer, very iPad, iPhone, solid, fit and finish is incredible on this box. Nothing cheap about it. I mean solid. It's a solid box. User manual. And I've already opened this, so this is uh, not the, this is kind of a second unboxing and initial impressions. It's protected in here by foam. Let's see what's underneath here is a little ribbon. Pull that out. Okay. Looks like we have something underneath as well. All right, so you have the um, a USB and a micro USB charger, which will go in any phone charger. Inside here, tweezers, a wax tool, a cleaning brush, a um, that's a, a wax and oil cup, and then filters and silicone rings, gaskets. I like that. So you're not going to be. Uh, you don't have to buy extra things. That's kind of a neat thing. So let's see. Now I know with these, uh, this is a <clears throat> look at this and the size of my hand. Okay, let me th let me put it next to something that you might recognize the uh, uh, the size. All right, just just your average mason jar. See. Okay as far as next to my hand you can see that all right you plug the USB charger in there it starts at red when it's fully charged it turns green it's a magnetic top so it literally just goes boop there's nothing put in twist there's no nubs to break off it's a powerful magnet there's your filter right there your screen and then there's your oven right there. Now this is a convection, which means that as you are inhaling, you're bringing air up through a heating element, a ceramic heating element. So this is not being heated up in the sense that you're not, the actual metal in there is not being heated up. The ceramic element underneath is, so when you draw, the heated air convection comes up and toasts, not combusts, your leaf. Let's put this on. All right, there we go. Now, what I like, it's simple. Two things that that I like about this already. The swing arm, look at that. So it's just, 
And it's nice, comes up at the perfect angle, swings back down. And there are replacement mouthpieces. That's wonderful. That comes out for easy cleaning. The other thing is one button operation. How can you beat that? Seriously, how can you beat one button operation? So let's load this up with 2010 Golden Leaf, my homegrown. And this is different because it's toasting the leaf and the oils in the leaf and not and not combusting it. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to be tapping it at the end and pouring ash out. We're going to be uh, tapping out a toasted leaf. So there it is, fully packed. And that was no more than like half of a, can you see that? That was half, there we go, that was half of a, a teaspoon, which is literally just a pinch. So let's put the top on. You press the button five times to activate the oven, okay? And when I say oven, the oven consists of a ceramic coil underneath a ceramic cup. I'm going to hit it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it flashes purple, which means it's heating up right now. When it stops flashing, then it's ready. Now, there's different heat settings. There's blue, green, purple, and red in increasing temperatures. The ideal temperature for this unit here is purple, which is about 376 degrees, which would be perfect for homegrown. Okay, we're going to let that just kind of heat up a little bit. There we go. Now it's ready. Swing this out. I can actually feel the heat a little bit. And let's do a little vaporizing. Wow. Oh, that is just... That's lovely. It's... I'm tasting the earth here. I'm actually taste. This is so different than combusted. It's toasting it. You know the smell like when you're raking leaves and you get that earthy smell just from the dried leaves in a big pile? But it's so... I'm, I'm tasting and smelling things that I would not normally taste and smell if I fired it up in a pipe. You know, a regular pipe pipe. That's why this is fascinating. Let's try it again. Subtle, nice. Wow. What a wonderful alternative. You're not inhaling smoke, you're inhaling vapor from the toasted, not combusted, leaf. So this will lead me to uh, another hobby. I'm old school dark leaf and green leaf and I really think this could revolutionize things as far as like my dark leaf is concerned. It's nice. It's not burnt at all. It's toasted. I actually... You know what it smells like? It smells like um, it's grainy, earthy, like a like a twelve grain toast in the toaster, without the wheat, like a very grainy toast.
And what I'm not doing is tasting anything burnt. It's not burning my mouth in any form or fashion. I'm not even, not even feeling the heat. I like that. The smell is almost candy-like. Because what happens is, when homegrown, when homegrown ages, the sugars come out of it. So it's a very sweet, very, very sweet smoke. I should say sweet vape, not smoke. Very nice. Well, I hope you like that. Um, I can hardly stand behind this product, very heartily. It's a solid product, feels great in the hand. It's a rubberized coating and actual uh, kind of a texturized ribs on the side. One button, easy to clean. Let's take a look inside at the toasted material. Now, this would last me an hour out here in the Van Gogh room. Let's take a look at what we have here. This is what's left. Okay, it's a little bit darker now. Remember it was a little bit golden, now it's a little bit darker. No need to tamp, no need to relight, no charring lights. Pipers, maybe this is another thing that you could enjoy as well. I like it a lot. The Phoenix by Wiki. Maybe I'll be offering these. Uh, the Sultan will be selling these soon. Who knows? Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, here's the box right here. And it all started from this right here. Enjoy.